Hi guys, in today's video, I'm gonna show you what I bought for my children's stockings, so please stay tuned. I'll admit that I find it difficult to find stocking stuffers for boys. I always have such a simple time finding them for my daughter. Maybe it's because I'm a girl, I don't know, but I think there's so many cute little things you can fit into a girl's stocking and a little bit more difficult to find boy things. So, I try to do even amount of items in each person's stockings, but sometimes it doesn't work out to that, but I do my best. So let's start with my daughter's stocking. She is 17 years old and these are the items I bought for her. First off, I found these really soft plush socks. I found these at TJ Maxx and my dog is going through all the items. No posy, sit, stay. No, stay right there. Good girl, good girl, stay. So the first item I found for her were these really soft plush socks. These were found at TJ Maxx and they were just $6.99 for the two pack. One of them's polka dotted and the other one is black with gray tip toes and they're both black and gray. So I thought those would be nice for her stocking. And then along the same lines as soft cozy socks, I found these really adorable slippers. I love these. These are the sequined ones when you go up, they go one way and down. And the up motion, they're kind of a matte rose gold. And when you go down, they're the more shiny sequin gold. So I thought those were adorable. And I found those at Target. And I believe they were $8.99. Nope, they were $8. The next item I bought are actually coasters for your car. So the cup holders in your car, you can put these ceramic, I believe they're made out of ceramic, little designer coasters in there. And they're very absorbent, so they help absorb the moisture from your cup when you put a cup in there. And I can't really show you the image very well. They had lots to choose from, but I'll try to insert a picture. Also for her vehicle, I found this little, um, it's actually a Christmas tree ornament, and I think it's a unicorn, but it looks like a little pinata. And Claire, uh, ever since she started talking about driving, she thought this would be really cute to have a pinata hanging from her rear view mirror. And so when I saw this, I thought, oh, that will be perfect. So I'm gonna stick that in her stocking. Next, I bought her the beauty scoop. This is a really long spatula with two different size ends on it. And this is meant for getting inside of your makeup and scooping out the last of the foundation and things like that that you can't normally get out. Claire had shown this to me quite a while ago and I thought this would be perfect to stick in her stocking. So Claire had requested some bath bombs and I said, well, you don't really take very many baths. She's definitely a shower girl. And so I did a little research and I found some shower tablets. These ones are in the lavender and berry scent. It says here that you just place these on the shower floor or on a shelf where it gets wet but not completely saturated and it slowly lets off a nice aroma. So I thought those would be kind of fun. I also purchased these two little mitts. You put your fingers inside the opening here and they have different textures on them and you can use them to clean your makeup brushes in the sink. And those are made out of silicone. One is pink and one is a nice soft green. I picked up this Tarte Concealer at Ulta. Claire uses the Tarte Concealer. This is the um, Shape Tape, and this is one of her favorite concealers, but this one is so super adorable. I don't know how well you can see it, but there's a little charm, which is a flamingo, and Claire loves flamingos like many other girls do, and it also comes with a small little beauty blender. So picked this up, and this was kind of cool because I used some of my Ulta Beauty Points and a coupon, and I got it for a I think I got this for like $18, so that's a really good deal. And when I was cashing out at Ulta, I saw this in the little travel size. Um, they have some little samples and travel size things up at the front, and I wanna say this was maybe $5. It's one of those poopery sprays, and it's a travel size one that you can put in your purse. Now let's face it, everybody wants to be discreet when it comes to this area, so I thought this would be nice for her to pop into her purse. Claire had also been requesting some satin pillowcases, so I went on Amazon and ordered this two-pack. I'll probably take them out of the packaging and fold them up to fit, but these ones were in, I chose a nice um, gray shade because this will match her bedroom. Every year I purchased them the Seize Candy Santa Box. 
so they each get one of those as well as the hubba bubba bubble tape I went ahead and purchased them a Rolo candy cane stick these I found at World Market and I thought they were kind of fun they are milk chocolate dried cherries and a cute little Ritter sports chocolate and that is what Claire got in her stocking. Okay, for Gavin's stocking, um, I actually went to the Dollar Tree and picked up a few things. I was there looking for um, like some cookie platters and while I was there, I found that they had quite a few cute little things for a child's stocking. So one of the items I picked up, and I remember getting this every year when I was a kid, is Silly Putty. So I picked up one of these Silly Putties for Gavin. We'll put that in his stocking. I know he'll have fun with it and it's only a dollar. When he's done with it, he can throw it out. I also picked up this adorable little notepad that is in the shape of a letter G for Gavin. So I thought that would be cute on his desk. Another item I found is this. It's called Gazooka. It's a slime lab. So I'm assuming you can make some kind of slime with it. When we were cashing out in line, they actually had these there. They're little coasters that you slip over your face around your nose that look like funny, ugly mouths. <laughs> I don't know, but Claire, my daughter Claire and I were there together and she thought these were pretty funny. So we bought these for Gavin. He does sit at his computer desk quite a bit and we thought he could put these there and put a drink on it. I also picked Gavin up a pair of these soft, really fuzzy socks and these ones are a Christmas theme as you can see here, but they're really soft and for a dollar, can't beat that. Here's another item that I picked up for Gavin. It's an 11 function pocket tool. I've seen these before around $20 and they slip inside of a man's wallet and they always have these tools there. It says here it's a can opener, a knife edge, a screwdriver, a ruler, a bottle opener, four position wrench, butterfly wrench, saw blade, directional and ciliary indication, two position wrench and lanyard hole. So I thought that was really cool. So I'll throw that in his stocking. And because Claire got the um, shower fizzies. I bought Gavin a bath fizz bar. Gavin actually likes to take baths, so he takes them quite often. I found this one at World Market, and I think it breaks apart. Yes, it says here that it's eight cubes in total. It's one bar, but you can break it apart and use it in multiple baths. And this one is um, blackberry vanilla fragrance. And Gavin's big item would be this PlayStation gift card. Gavin has a PlayStation and he loves playing on it and more than anything in the world, he loves getting PlayStation gift cards. So this is one in the amount of $20. So that'll be his big item in the stocking. And I'll throw that in there. For candy, Gavin also got the Santa Claus box from C's Chocolate, a Rolo's candy cane, a Ritter Sports chocolate bar, the Hubba Bubba Bubble Tape, the chocolate covered dried cherries from World Market, and I also picked Gavin up these candy canes from the Dollar Tree. They are the Warhead candy brand, and Gavin loves those Warhead candies, so I thought he'd really like these. And I picked up a package of Ring Pops to divide between the two of them because they always loved these when they were kids, and I just thought it would be fun to throw in there. Found them at the Dollar Tree, can't beat that price. And I think that is it. That is what I got for my kids for their stocking stuffers. I hope that this gave you some ideas that you will be able to put your kids' stockings together. I know every year I like to look and see what other people buy for their kids. It gives you some ideas. Everybody's different and sometimes you have traditional items that you like to put in the stocking. When I was growing up, we always got an orange and an apple and then we would get some candy and some other items. But it's just fun to have traditions. And I would say that stockings are one of my kids' favorite um, presents to open every year. When we get to the stockings, they enjoy that more than the presents themselves. So I hope this video helped you. You guys, don't forget to like this video and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.